He definitely has a top, doesn't he? Who are you? Duke, we've got ourselves an intruder. Stand down, gung-ho. This is our new interrogation specialist. Interrogation? Snagged him right out from under Cobra. Well, let's just say the paycheck's a bit better over here. Is any good? Oh, he's worth it. Then there was the time that I got stuck in traffic back in oh, I talk. can't remember what year it was, but it was a doozy. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Overview. Today, let's take a quick look at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Target exclusive Tiger Force Stuart Outback Selkirk. One take, baby. It's been a while since I've looked at a G.I. Joe figure. In fact, it's been a while since I've opened a G.I. Joe figure. Hold on a second. It's not like I've been skipping any. There's Kamakura, and there's Tomax, there's Crimson Guard, there's Zaymont, there's Stalker. Then there's the newer Snake Eyes and Timber pack, which is just slightly different than the previous release. This is probably going to be a G.I. Joe play day of some kind coming up. Maybe it's because Outback is number 39 and that comes before all of these. I wanted to go in order. That, that, that's it. Yeah. That's not it. I, it there's just been other things. There's been vacations. But when it comes to this... I've been waiting for Outback. I mean, we've all been waiting a year for this Outback. And I finally got it, despite Target constantly asking me over the past couple of months, hey, you you still want that Outback? I pre-ordered it, didn't I? Come on. Are you absolutely sure you still want it? Yes, Target. Looking at the packaging, it's, well, this is almost a bygone era by now, huh? In fact, I think the ones I have are the last of the window packages, except for Kamakura and Snake Eyes. Those are the new windowless. But you see everything you get here in the big blue motif. You got Tiger Force logo, some G.I. Joe Classified series, his name, artwork. On the side, more of that artwork. On the back, we see this with the Target exclusives, kind of a map. Here is some kind of outpost, and then here is a treehouse. Yeah, that's cool. Includes figure and seven accessories. Warning, small parts. Do not put them in your mouth. On the side, we have the new style file card where it gives you these logos and you have to go to the G.I. Joe website and decode them yourself. But I'm looking at this first one. It is level three something. I can't find that globe thing unless I'm missing something. I've ran into this before where it wasn't the full graphic. It was actually part of something else, but I don't even see that globe look anywhere. But I've never been accused of being the most observant either. This is level two light weapons, level three jungle combat, and then level three desert combat. On the top, it's a bunch of the package, just mixed up different. On the bottom, here's your legalese, your barcode. Let's get this open and see what happens. There's just something about Outback, so much so that I made a custom at some point. Maybe that's why I was looking forward to the Tiger Force, because it was different from something I already had on my shelf. But now that they've shown the more traditional look for their official version, this'll just drift off to somewhere else. Or I'll make something else out of it. I don't know. But now that I've seen both, man, I really gravitate towards the gray-haired orange shirt version. Maybe it's because he looks like he's seen some shit, you know? If Outback has survived this long doing what he does, then he's learned a thing or two along the way. And he don't mind telling you. And yeah, there's the orange shirt with the tiger on it, bringing kind of a flea market feel to it. But at the same time, I like a little of this in my G.I. Joe along with the military look. And I think it's an all new sculpt. I may be wrong about that. Again, I have a few boxes over there that I need to open, but it's definitely not the Duke pants that we've seen several times. Very reminiscent, almost like, you know, military fatigues handed out to different people. But the wrinkles are different, the little details, they're just a little thicker. He's huskier than Duke. Same with the boots, same style, different sculpt. Then there's the upper body, looking very jacked, very superhero-ish. Just a bare arm has the sleeve sculpt right here, but then you get to the shoulder and it's very smooth. That is a tight shirt. I wear medium. You sure you don't need a large? Medium. The wrinkles are stretching for dear life across all the muscles. Same thing across the lower back, but then again, just... <laughs> you, you could paint this skin tone and it would look naked. Oh, well, okay, there's a couple of wrinkles under the pecs, but... Yeah. I have a glove sculpt with a little details, again with the wrinkles, a band around each wrist. Separate pieces include a holster with two straps going around the thigh, a flashlight holder, just two hoops with two bands, the knife sheath down around the boot, and then the gear over the shoulders. It comes down and there's some buckles and some pouches, and you know what I'm going to say here. They painted this main belt buckle silver, but 
Ooh, I would have liked to have seen just little drops of paint here and there. This is attached to the belt in the front, but it's kind of free floaty in the back. That comes into play here in a minute when we start messing with the backpack. But then <laughs> my focal point is the head. The gray hair with the darker wash to it, giving it some contrast, letting the sculpt just sing. The hair, the beard, the eyebrows, blue eyes kind of peering out and at first when I look at it I think man the shading is weird on the skin but at the same time it's kind of blotchy kind of adding to that age he's got many a suntan in his life and it definitely shows and let's not forget about the arm hair so subtle but so nice in fact I missed it the first pass I'm coming back around highlighting that also nice military feel to the camo but I don't know what these white dots are on the back of the knee. Overall, it is very reminiscent of the vintage figure. Sure, the Tiger logo is much more detailed here. I, I kind of wish they had went with the original because of the charm to it, the simplicity. But at the same time, this just brings it up to date. It modernizes it slightly. Going over articulation, there is a dumbbell joint at the top of the neck with a ball down at the bottom. But on mine, the neck itself doesn't do a lot of movement. It is super tight. Because of the dumbbell and how much space there is up in the head, he can still look up, can look down. So much tilt. Side to side. There's a butterfly at the shoulder that goes back, goes forward. Pin out to the shoulder, goes around, and then a hinge goes up to there. Swivel at the bicep. Pinless double elbow. I forgot to point that out for those of you who care about that kind of thing. Goes up to, ooh, there. Swivel at the wrist, side to side on a trigger finger hand. Hmm. Oh, well, the left is a trigger finger hand and it has up and down hinge. So maybe he's left-handed. Hinge at the mid torso, crunches forward arcs back then there's a ball at the waist that gives you just a bit more forward and back some tilt and then rotation there's a drop down hip goes to there and then a ball going out to the leg i had to add oil to it like a lot of gi joe's it was just super tight what do you expect i'm old but after lubing it up it goes to here back out Ooh. swivel at the thigh that i have hidden by the band there it is double knee goes up to here just a lot of stuff running into it but still impressive swivel at the boot hinge at the ankle goes back forward front facing pin for rocker like the figure itself the accessories are also very vintage inspired there is this knife got your standard flashlight oh and it's even a glossy plastic where the lens is that's Cool. have a shovel there's a pistol with is that a light or a laser strapped under it and a nice wrap to it just, again just making it a bit more individual for outback and then as everyone knows i don't know guns but looking at the vintage figure again this is just an updated version of that then you can load that up by adding this at the right direction or does it need to go the other way that looks more straight up and down. Eh, I'm leaving it. And then there's this big old backpack. Outback plans on being out back, <laughs> I guess you could say, for a long, long time. Again, it's cast in all brown plastic. I would have loved to have seen some silver or some black to some of the straps and buckles, but the sculpt itself with the wrinkleness. Oh man, I love this. This kind of perplexed me for a minute. There's a hole in the back right there. And if you raise this up, and plug the backpack through that hole into the back, you have floaty straps right here. But you can alleviate that by dropping the belt down over the pants belt. And there you go, the straps come down. Or if you like this belt floating up above the other belt, kind of willy-nilly, you can bring this down and just plug the backpack above it. It's not quite as secure because the plug doesn't go all the way in and it holds it off the back a little bit, but at the same time, it's still not going to just fall off. <laughs> uh, it's not just going to fall off. Get on there. You may have noticed these two pegs on the side of the backpack. Then you have holsters and straps and sheaths. You can put all the weapons, all the accessories on the figure. The shovel fits on either of those pegs. It also fit in the trigger guard of the gun, but I'm probably going to have him holding that most of the time, which is kind of a pain in the boner because of the strap coming down and around. But some twisting, some pushing, some flexing, some stretching, it will eventually go in there. Put the pistol there, the flashlight there, the knife there. Then he's ready for some out and aboutness. I'm heading out. When will you be back? Never mind. Outback stands at about six and a quarter to the top of his hair. Bigger than Duke. 
but smaller than Gung Ho. So he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cobra. He's slightly taller than the Cobra officer, a little smaller than Destro. But if you have some custom ideas that may involve other franchises, here he is with the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series first Stormtrooper, and then the Hasbro Marvel Legends comic book Black Panther. So at the end of the day, I... I don't know if I could be happier. Well, okay, I've run into a few snags as I was taking pictures and stuff, but nothing that made me go, you know what, I hate this damn thing. To get it out of the way, the backpack does add a little weight, and it's not the most secure thing in the world, so it tends to just pop off every now and then, or rotate around, or get in the way. But hey, it's an optional part. I can put it off to the side, have fun with Outback with the rest of his stuff. Because it's awesome. So much so that it made me go outside and take some pictures, even though it's cold and miserable. This figure had me out there just, please stand up in the dirt, please stand up in the grass, please stand up here. Oh, come on, just get, uh, just give me this shot, give me this picture. And for me, that's usually a sign of a good figure. It makes me want to get out and get fancy, get a little creative with it. Now, like I said, way back at the first, I'm still excited about the standard version, but I don't know. There's something about this. It's a nice mix of what I like in the G.I. Joe line. There's military with a little bit of silliness. Don't get me wrong. People wear orange shirts with tigers on them. <laughs> I think there's some sports teams, right? Either way, I, I like the mix. Plus, there's the gray hair, the age, the old war veteran that still has things to teach the youngins, you know what I mean? But that may be a personal preference because I, I, I tend to gravitate towards characters like that anyway. So, yeah. Beyond that though, still an awesome addition to the G.I. Joe Classified series. It, it, there was nothing holding me back from opening all these other figures that I have, but this makes me even more excited. I got to get those open. And hell, I think I got Serpentor in the mail. And a couple of other figures. <laughs> Never ends, but that's okay. If you enjoyed the overview, comment, like, subscribe. Much, much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or in a position to help out the channel, patreon.com. But wherever you may be watching this, I'll always catch you on the foosh. Oh, I just noticed that the barrels on the guns have ports, I guess for effects that are coming with future figures. Add a little flair to your pictures, your videos. Rugged. <laughs> that's the word I've been searching for for the whole review. There's a ruggedness to it, and I think it's all centered right there up in the head. Rugged Outback. Yeah. I love it.